2009, you're Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg, and you live wherever you want, right? Okay? These, these men, these minds, are things that you are putting your dollars toward. These guys go to these parties, okay? These are the most important people on, at least some of the most important people on earth. And if you get invited to these parties, how many dates do you get? Quite a few. And you meet girls. And you have babies. All right? That's how it works. I call it the lemon continuum. Glass water, glass water, lemon on the side, lemon flavored water, 
Lemonade, a lemon, a lemon farm. It's less and more. It's not good or bad. These are famous people on the continuum. Clay Marzo is a friend of mine out in Hawaii. He's one of the top surfers on Earth. Temple Grandin, another friend of mine. She's amazing. If you haven't seen a movie about her called Grandin, watch it. You got Albert Einstein, Heather from America's Next Top Model, Questlove from The Roots. But how do you get onto this lemon continuum? You got to be born that way. You can't learn it. My dad was asked me, my granddad was asked me. I wish I was. I'm not. True fact, even though I watch Star Wars that many times. This guy is John Taylor Rosen. He's a New York Times bestselling author. He's an important scientist. He invented the guitars for Kiss, the rock group. He also did all the sound work Pink, for Pink Floyd. This guy uh, meets her. He has not the best social skills, but he's on time. She falls in love with his brain. She thinks he's really interesting, wants to hear more about dinosaurs and geography and history. And there's something about that guy. By the way, that's my wife. I love that. That guy, his tie's not straight. So she's listening to him, and then she's able to go, you know what? Your tie's not straight. And don't wear plaid with stripes. And don't say that in public. And so she's teaching him social skills. She, they fall in love. They have babies. She gets to care for the Aspie mind. And she falls in love with his intelligence. Now imagine they have babies for 30 years, 30 generations. Think about that. Those two pair up. High social, high IQ. Low social, high IQ. You get a different version of human being. Almost a different race. And it's human 2.0. And that's where we're headed. I've met some of these people. And we've got pieces of those people here. Asperger's. People don't suffer from Asperger's. People with Asperger's suffer from other people. And there's this joke, and Aspie said, there's this joke, where people say Aspies are going to take over the world. Well, it's not a joke. We already have. We just haven't told you yet. That's Asperger's, OK? The thing that I want people to know, and, and why I do this, and, and what I've shared with my, my guys here, is that be proud of who you are. Share it. It's not a disorder. It's not a disease. It's just a different kind of brain. If you are designed to focus for 10,000 hours on a specific topic or a specific interest, then you don't really need the social piece as much. And that's where we're moving. The NSA is recruiting 12 to 14 year old Aspies to, to do coding and programming for them. Lego out of Denmark will not hire you as a master builder unless you have a doctor's note that says you're on the spectrum. No joke. Microsoft, all these companies, Bungie, the Halo guys, the Gears guys, all those, all those programs, all those companies are hiring Aspie people. My name is Ryan. My name is Cameron. My name is Stuart. Asperger's is awesome.